you guys. What are you doing? Good morning. Good morning, baby. Can you say good morning? Today is our trick-or-treating, which I'm really, really excited about because like obviously Paxton was born and he like last September so he had his first Halloween last year but this is like the first time he's able to like walk around and collect candy it's obviously just for the experience and for us to see him and I love candy so it works out I have a baby shower my friend's baby shower at 12 o'clock so I will be dropping him off at my aunt's house where my mom is um, where my mom is sitting with my grandma and then she will watch him for like probably a half an hour 45 minutes because then Rob is going out and he'll be home he he'll be home by like that time 12:45 so then he'll just pick him up bring him back here and then my mom's going to come here after she's done sitting with my grandma and she'll be here for the trick or treating say hi You want to put it in? Uh. In. Surprise! Surprise! I'm going to show you guys the firewood rack that I made today. <clears throat> uh oh. Here comes the monster. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> so, anyways, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And, uh, finally actually budgeted the money for it I mean it wasn't a, a lot but it's about $45 worth of wood and, and screws but here it is it's it really doesn't look big on the camera but it's huge it's uh, 16 feet across um, so yeah it's pretty sturdy And I'm gonna start by stacking all that stuff. Okay, there you go, that's a good angle to show you how big it actually is. I just got back from the shower and I have to show you guys something really sad. And before I show you, it is a boo-boo. And my mom feels horrible because he was with my mom at my aunt's at my aunt's house who has a little dog. And I'm sure you could already imagine what it is. But yeah, Paxton got bit by a little dog and my mom was feeding him in his high chair at the at her house and it's, she didn't realize that the dog was under the table she thought he was in the other room so she was cleaning up the tray and as soon as she put the tray off and put it up to clean it she put him she put him down but as soon as she put him down the dog was under the table and um got him so it is like the one part's a little bad it's not like it does not need stitches at all i'm for sure about that but it probably will take a few days to heal let's see look at you guys yeah so the nose part is the worst but that's just dried blood like the dark part but that's like the worst little section like this nose. oh you want this out to help help Let's see if we can get this side. And then this side is like where, looks more like scratches, but it's probably just like where the top of the teeth got them. So, <sighs> I know boo-boos are gonna happen and it was a total accident. My mom did not realize that the dog was under the table when she put him down. She thought he was in the other room and she feels so bad, of course. But, you know, I don't wanna make her feel better or anything because it was just an accident. And thank God it's not worse or he didn't need stitches or, you know, went deep or anything. So thank God. But just pray that it heals really fast. It, I think it definitely will because if you saw his boo-boo before when he fell and he had um, scrapes all over his face, that healed really fast. And that looked really, really bad. Oh, I'm thankful it wasn't a dog like Maddie. Like, I'm glad it wasn't our dog because then it's like... I would feel horrible if it's like our dog and it's like you feel like okay if my dog is gonna be biting him I need to like should I get rid of it give it to someone that doesn't have small children but thankfully it's just my aunt's dog and he's never over there 
besides today because I went to a shower. And again, my mom feels so, so bad. I just put long sleeve shirt on him, long, nice, warm fleece pants, and then I'm going to put his outfit over top and then his little Frankenstein hat. And my mom just ran down to go get a pizza. She's getting us a white pizza with broccoli for dinner. And trick-or-treating starts in like two minutes. So Rob's just over our neighbor's house saying hi and then it feels like it doesn't start like exactly four. Like last year it was like 420 people started coming. But I think we'll like just trick-or-treat for an hour. If I doubt it will even last that long. Paxton is ready to trick-or-treat. Pax, let's start this way. Where? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do your noise. Say hi, say treat me, treat me. Say trick or treat. I love what mom did to it. Trick or treat, honey. Wow, look at that. What's that? Oh, that's your tea there. Oh, yummy. Okay, I'll hold it. Hi, babe. Say hi. Come on, Pax. I did over there, so over here. Okay, this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow, Pax and Mommy likes those. Good job scoring that. <laughs> Walk up like a big boy. Come on, Pax. <laughs> Good job. Stay trigger treat. Oh. Apple crackers. <gasps> Oh, cute! Wow. Okay, thank you so much. I don't know, it might be so big to stick it in there. But go ahead, we got leaves in there you. also. Perfect. We'll put that in there. Yeah, that's there great. You go. Say thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. So far, you're doing good. Go. Thank you. Oh, I'm <laughs> Hey, Pax, take that. Here, hold this. <laughs> it's like, I'm cool with this Frankenstein costume, but I don't know about this walking tux. Say hi, Jimmy. What you got? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Here's my mom. Mom, say hi. Hi. And we're just sitting out here giving out candy, and there's definitely not as many kids as we usually get. But. Paxton had fun. He only lasted probably how long? Well, not that he didn't last, but yeah, we were just actually we didn't last. <laughs> yeah, we didn't last. I, mean, I can't believe this. How long? Like half an hour? Mm, not even. I don't know. It's just we were just doing it for the experience. To have him, I'm like, he didn't particularly want to get out of the wagon. Well, but yeah, he wanted to stay in the wagon the and they just <laughs> part him and. Stop at this side. I know. Yeah. yeah, he didn't really want to get out of that get out of the wagon each time, but some of the drive like the walkways you couldn't bring a wagon. So I think when we go on Halloween then we'll use this. Come on. Yeah, and he can just keep his little pocket wagon yeah. handle. Or, yeah, and he can even put it in here if we have extra. <laughs> Look at yourself. Hi, thanks a lot. Look at he's looking at himself. Look and <laughs> <laughs> Get that tongue. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <Mr>. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Go ahead, go get Cole. He's in the playhouse. Would you just get a wood stove? You had one. And there's my cousin Katie. She came and brought her Actually, nephew trick or treat in. Look at her Halloween outfit. I'm a pirate. She's a pirate. She has my hand. Yeah, and then her nephew's over there. He's a little pirate. Cole, say hi. Hi. Say hi, Cole. <laughs> Paxton's been so funny. He was literally standing right here and then jumped to get the turtle. He landed on the bouncy ball and went like, boing. What are you doing?
Jackson's in bed now and hopefully his boo-boo heals up really quickly. It already looks a lot better than it did when I first picked him up, so that's good. I think it's going to heal really quickly just like the other boo-boo that he got healed because that healed really fast. So, But trick-or-treating was fun and it was just fun seeing all the little kids dressed up and everything. We didn't go that long because when we go trick-or-treating at my mom's house, we're around where my li mom lives. We'll be going like the whole entire time. So it didn't take them that long here. But um, yeah, he got he got some cute experience. And plus the houses, like our neighborhood, the houses aren't, they're like a few of our houses are decent, like are kind of close, but the house is like further down the street. They're not like super close. So you have to walk a little while, but yeah, he had fun and he really did not want to get out of the wagon at some of the houses. So we were like, all right, I think he's probably had enough. So when we go trick-or-treating at my mom's area, we're just gonna bring the little bike and that way we can stroll it up like right to the houses. Me and Rob are going to watch Hocus Pocus. We were gonna watch it last night, but we didn't end up watching it. We ended up watching Gold Rush and I fell asleep for that anyways. Me and Rob were watching Adam's Family and I started falling asleep. So I'm going to go to bed and he's been sleeping downstairs on the couch for like the past four nights because he's been coughing like all night and that will drive me insane so he's sleeping downstairs and i have a whole bed to myself and my bed's small it's a full-size bed so it's not that much room but it's still nice to be able to sprawl all the way out tomorrow we're hopefully filming our q a video and i'll probably just answer like 10 questions that are like the most common that are the most asked or just like a really interesting question that i found was fun to answer but alright you guys, I hope you guys liked the vlog, thumbs up if you did, and we will see you tomorrow.